Hello and welcome to part two of the Fates Collide Triple Pack Bonanza. Bonanza? No, that sounds fucking terrible. The the Triple Pack Terror Trio. No. Trilogy? It's only two parts. I can make a third part, I guess. Although I wouldn't have anything to open unless I bought more Fates Collide Triple Packs. There's only two of them. No, I feel like maybe let's just call it part two of the Fates Collide Triple Pack video things. Anyway, this is really difficult to open. I was going to say I should have opened this before the start of the video, but then it'll look just a bit weird if I'd have the discarded packaging in the background. Anyway, same as part one, so I don't really need to show you much. Uh, I think I briefly showed what the package looked like in the opening video, and I'll show you everything that comes inside in a second. Let's take these packs out. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, I do highly recommend watching it because it's got a pretty damn good pull in it, I think, anyway. I'm not going to take this out of the packaging. This is the Froakie card that comes with it. This, like the Vivian in part one, is also a promo, which I'm very, very happy about because I don't really like buying, you know, an alternate hollow of a card from the set. Because then it's just weird that if I get the reverse as well, I've got to put three of them in the same thing in the binder and it gets a bit bulky and I'm worried it'll bend. That's also the coin, uh, Victini. I think I've got like four of the orange Victinis now. It looks a bit pink on camera, but I can guarantee you it is orange in real life. That's the promo card and that is the back with, I have to admit, some of the best artwork I think they've put on the back because it's very clear what it is as opposed to a lot of artwork, which kind of tends to be, oh, there's this Pokemon, but there's loads of effects over it and around it and under it, so you can barely tell. It's just an angry looking Alakazam, as you can see here. The Mega Alakazam EX sees the future. And it's kind of the theme of the set, uh, from what I can tell. So, last video, I began with the Lugia uh, pack. As you can tell here, I don't have a Lugia pack. So, I'm going to start with Lucario this time. And then end with Mega Alakazam EX. Because he's really cool. And kind of the mascot of the set, I guess. Yeah. This, like all of the sets, is comprised of the two Japanese ones. I can't remember what the Alakazam one was called. But that was really cool. The booster box had like just Mega Alakazami X looking really wild on the front. But don't collect Japanese cards, really. Because that's just another. That would be another money sink, I think. Anyway, let's begin with an Alteria Spirit Link. That's useful, I guess, if you play Alteria EX. We have a uh, Dome Fossil Kabuto. That's cool. That is for Kabuto from Naruto. I'll go with the Ninja Info cards. Um, not to be confused with the Pokemon. We have a Wormadam. Yay! I had a Burmy in the last video and a Wormadam here. Are there more Wormadam in the background? I think there are. I don't know. I can't quite tell. I don't know what coat that is. They're wearing summer coat, spring coat. Do they have summer and spring coats? Oh my god, this Gothita card. All three packs in the last one, I pulled this too. So this is pack number four and Gothita number four. Also followed by Meowth, which I'm pretty sure happened the third pack of last video as well. That's good. Seems to be going pretty quick because there's a Snivy as well. And I feel like that followed Meowth. Okay, that's that's fine. And Solosis, the weird 3D Solosis. I wonder if this rare is going to be a Grumpig. If it is, I may have... Oh. Wait, oh, okay, that's not... Oh, that's a different Fennekin. Okay, it's... Oh, it's with Chikorita. That's adorable. Really just chilling out with Chikorita there. That's... Okay, that's cool. I thought that was a reverse, but it's not. Because this is the Jesus Christ. Okay, then. We got a Mew. Just casually, just, you know. Uh, that's probably a hollow, I imagine. Uh, that's definitely a rare, though. Mew has to be a rare. Well, we got a reverse hollow Mew. That's really damn cool. Don't think I've pulled a Mew for about a decade or something. Actually, no, I think the last Mew I had was a promo card. So, wow, that's cool. I did not know he was in this set. And that's some pretty slick artwork. 
And we have a Grumpig. I just predicted the rare in this. Just predicted the rare in this pack. Wow. And I got it on video. Yay! I can prove to people that I do have uh, future sight when it comes to Pokemon cards. It's kind of like a superpower that's useful in, you know, some situations, but nothing of great importance, I guess, unless you're investing heavily in Pokemon cards or something. Let's do Zygarde's pack next. And the rare is going to be the Hollow Mew. Do I pulled a reverse hollow of in that pack. Oh man, that would be great. That would actually be great. I need now a way to prove that I haven't like overlaid this audio. Um, there's a car passing. Oh no, actually no, I, I could do that in post. What would I only be able to say right now? Uh, nothing, actually, if I was dedicated enough, because even if I'd like cut my finger, something I could always edit in it. Ow, that hurt! Well, whatever, that was part of the code and the QR code, so if you're quick enough, you could snipe that off for me. Um, right, we have an old amber, amber, old amber Aerodactyl. That's an interesting uh, thing there. That's, that's some pretty cool artwork, very reminiscent of old sets of the kind of... There's an item and just a weird uh, ethereal background. We have a Chinchino. Oh, Chinchino. A Pokemon I've got quite used to typing in the typing Pokemon game for the DS that I bought recently. We have a Shauna. I think everyone knows what Shauna does and has seen that card a million times. We have a Burmy. That's cool. Oh, we have a Bronzo. I really like Bronzo because he's just like a big coin dial thing with balls on him. Which is cool. No, not a fan of Bronzong, but I really like Bronzo. It's it's a shame he didn't evolve into anything more interesting. Oh, we have a binacle. That's cool. I like binacle. It's chilling in the desert, um, I guess, maybe. Or maybe that's like a large explosion, which is more worrying, but whatever. We have a snubble. Just under someone's skirt. Okay, that's fine, just you know. Peeking up there, are you snubble? Because you know, there's you, you can't do that. I know you're a Pokemon, but you gotta you gotta bide by some by some rules there. Well, we just oh thank God. Okay, I only revealed like the reverse and not the you know rare thingy. We have Riolio. That's cool. I think I pulled a reverse for him in the last video. We have a random receiver. That's cool. And it's calling Professor Sycamore. Oh. He's soon to be lost, Jen's professor, because that shirtless dude, uh, who's the new professor, who looks pretty cool, don't know much about him, but you know. And we have a Marowak. I am very, very pleased with that. I like Marowak. Kill one of Marowak and Sandshrew and Sandslash are oh, some of my favourite first gen Pokemon. Not that anyone cares. I don't know why I keep telling you guys that. Uh, that's really cool. With some nice colourful art and stuff there. Right, well, so it's been two rares we, uh, in the last two packs. And that's fine. That's, you know, that's a good pull. I feel like maybe I'm making up for last video's uh, pull. Just so I shan't spoil. Go watch it. It is definitely pretty darn good. Darn good darn. Oh, Darn good. And we end with Mega Alakazam EX. Well, I guess just Mega Alakazam on the pack. I know he he can't just get a Mega Alakazam card in the set, but eh, whatever. Also, as you can see, uh, if you watched the first video, it was a Greninja Amiibo in the background, and now he's evolved into Mewtwo. And I don't have much room left, apparently. Okay, got to make this a quick one then. No, what am I doing? Back three, to the front. Let's go a bit speedy, because i got four minutes left, apparently. We have Chinchino. Saw that before. We have a Fairy Drop. That's cool. We have a Lodred. That's cool. Got him in the last pack. I like Lodred. He's very cool. Sound person. Burmy. Green. Grass. Person. Go. Coughing. Ooh, that's actually really cool art. He looks kind of cute there. That's fine. Uh, right, yeah, that's coughing. Coughing is cool. 
Uh, Meowth, we've seen that artwork. How are we going to get... Oh, we don't get Gothita yet. Or will we get her? I don't know. Maybe we will. We have Lavatar. Yay, he's on a mountain looking off to the distance. I think we pulled him before in this... In this. Okay, I'm back. The HDD just straight up ran out of a room. I have 15 minutes worth now because I deleted like last month's video, last two week. Anyway, I've I just set the pile down as it was. Don't know how far I am in, but the last card I believe was Lavis Lavatar. And then Diglut is the next one. Can have a bit of a slower pace now because I didn't really want to explain cards as green, next one, Lavatar, go! Uh, Diglett is looking at some shiny rocks. That's cool. Our reverse is Mr. Mime. That's cool. Maybe he's a rare. I don't know. Also, for those who didn't watch part, part one, I have a point system thing going on that tallies up, um, you know, the rating of each pack. And if it came out as an overall positive or average kind of triple pack or whatever. That's cool. I was a Mr. Mime. I like Mr. Mime. And, ooh, ooh, we have White Kyram. And it is a hollow. Let me double check. That is a hollow, but can you see the top? There, top left. That's hollow. Rest of it ain't that hollow. Well then, that's interesting, but I got a hollow. That's cool. I got a white curum. And I like white curum. Those are its things. Actually, yeah, he was a white curum X. Uh, no, black curum X in my deck. It's probably cycled out of official tournament things now, but, you know, I like using it. Right, okay, well, that was a pretty good triple pack, I think. I will flash up the verdict of this triple pack um, now or in a minute or wherever, point-wise. I give it, you know, a rating of whether it was good, worth it, or absolute garbage. I mean, I say that, I've never really deemed any triple packs or any any even like packs have opened as absolute garbage because even if you get doubles of everything and you get a rare you've pulled eight times, you know, you can still trade or whatever. But it is disappointing. But cool, well, thank you very much for watching and sticking with me uh, while I had to delete about like eight videos to make up for 15 minutes. Wow, that's... That is how memory works, kids and adults and other people, people my age. Well, thank you very much for watching, and as with last time, I will leave you on a slow zoom up of Froki. Till next time, goodbye.